wish I could have you in my life again. I wish I could have you in my life again. There you go, folks. That was Cathy Crinion. And wasn't that fantastic? And to tell us a little bit more about that particular song and others and other parts of the musical journey it is our special guest Cathy Crinion. Hi Cathy. Hello, how are you? Thanks for having me on your show. You're very welcome. It's it's great to talk to you. You too. It really is. It's um Trim is it Mead is home, Cathy? Mead is home, yes, and it's quite chilly here this evening, so I'm looking forward to my fire later on. <laughs> That's it, it is the time of the year for it now, definitely. Sure is. <laughs> There's a bit of a drop in temperatures, as they say. That's it, exactly. Winter setting in. That's it. But exciting times musically, Cathy. Yeah, it seems to be. Where you know the, the song seems to be really taken off with people. They seem to like it and and request it, and that's all I want to hear. Really, it's, it's it's. I'm really lucky at the moment, and um, getting lots of attention. And the song is a very beautiful song, and it was written by two amazing songwriters, um, Wood Newton and Tor Anderson, and. Um, and I'm very lucky to have gotten the chance to record it, you know. Very good, yeah. They are big names in Nashville, aren't they? In they so sure are, yeah. Well, especially Wood Newton, you know, he's famous for writing songs like Pri- Writing with Private Malone, which was a huge hit. And, uh, yeah, he's, and he's a lovely way of writing, you know. He's, he's a lovely style to his writing. Yeah, and it seems to lend to your style as well, which is relaxed and... Yeah, a bit of a love song. I'm a sucker for a love song. <laughs> That's it. Get you, get you every time. Absolutely. <laughs> no, I was just on. Uh, I've met you before with Howard D. Crane above That's in, right. in Ashburn yep. in the summer, and what a voice! Velvet oh, is one you. way they describe it, and it's Karen Carpenter. I'm sure you've heard the comparison many it's times. It's a huge compliment, though, to hear that. You know, it's it's. I, I, I always have a deep voice. Even my speaking voice is quite low, so I think that's where the comparison lies. It's in the lower register, you know, and I'm comfortable singing there as well. Um, but yeah, you know, Clarence Carpenter was an amazing singer, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to turn away if somebody says there's a comparison. It's great. That is true. It's, it's, yeah, it's a nice compliment to get because sure she was never, she never go to fashion through the generations, as they say. That style will be handed down. Yeah, it's, it's a really classic sort of style, and and you know, it, it does seem to pass from generation to generation. Everybody seems to like the music, you know. That's it. And um, you have a big night planned for the, the album, haven't I you? I do, yeah. We, we've, well, it's, it's not really for an album. It's, it's just a showcase of what I'm kind of doing at the minute. Um, we're hoping for an album next year, but at, at the minute we're, we're just kind of working on, on our sound and, and what we want people to kind of hear. But um, it's, it's a great night. We have a great lineup of people as well. We, we have... Um, the wonderful Steve Martin, and we have Matt Levy, and we have Rain Marcia, and uh, and just before I came on air to your show, um, I got a phone call from the lovely Lee Miley from Bagatelle, so this is a bit of an exclusive for you, so we have him coming to perform with um, Jim McCourt, uh, not, sorry, Kevin McCourt, sorry, um, on guitar, so, um, and, and obviously Liam on keyboard, so that's, that's a oh. pretty good, uh, pretty good lineup for the night, so that's on this, the 8th of December. That is a nice scoop to get. That is a nice... Yeah. <laughs> there you go. A little surprise for you. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a great night. And it's good. You know, we have TV there. There's cabin TV coming down and we have press and we have radio. So it's going to be fun. Fun night. Very good. No, that that is mighty. It's in, it's in the Trim Castle Hotel if anybody wants to come down to Trim. Um, that's where it'll be at 8 o'clock on it the 8th is. of December. Very good. That is the, the 8th of December. That's the holiday, isn't it? Um, well, it's, it's, <laughs> I used to hear it being called Culture Day. It was when all the all, all the country people like myself would go up from the country to Dublin to do their Christmas shopping on the eighth of December. <laughs> that is it. I didn't want to say it, but fair play to you. <laughs> <laughs> I said it for you. <laughs> but yeah, I remember. We, yeah, everybody used to kind of laugh at us. Everybody used to just go up from the country on the eighth. I am a Culture, <laughs> so I used well, to go up. I was one of those people. <laughs> there, there's a pair of us in it, definitely. I'm one as well. <laughs> Down from the sticks, as they say. That's the, the bog. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so that is a day where 
people would be off, I presume, and if you're looking for a place to go, that's... Absolutely. Get yourself down to Trim Castle. Thank you, yes, absolutely. And oh, it would be great, it would be great. There's a great lineup and, and a great bunch of people helping me out musically as well. We have some fantastic musicians um, of my band, so it's great. We like Barry Coffey on uh, pedal steel and Ken Gillick on guitar and there's some amazing people out there. It's going to be great. Very good. Uh, as you're talking now, I just got a message in on Facebook and it's in from Lorna O'Dwyer. And she says, Catty won't know uh, Norma, but she'd know her uncle Pete Mulcairns. Uh huh. Pete's going to be playing fiddle that night for me. The great, the <laughs> he's an amazing guy. He's he's just a lovely person and himself, but he, he's a multi talented guy. He sings, he plays guitar, and he plays fiddle, and he's just super talented. So it's very good. Well done, Lorna. Oh, hi, Lorna. <laughs> She's on the ball, isn't she? Fair play. Um, good, excellent. I suppose, where did it start for you, Cathy? Has it, was it in school or was it late beginnings for you? Um, no, I mean, I've always sang, you know, and I've said this a lot before. I actually don't remember not singing. Um, I remember singing from probably the age of four, really. It's probably my earliest memory of singing, but I sure I must have sang prior to that. Um, but yeah, would take any opportunity to sing in front of people, you know, even if it was just my family, I'd, I'd stand up on a high table and sing in front of everyone. And um, it's always been there. I've, I'm, you know, even from, I'd say maybe eight or nine, I remember telling my mother I wanted to be a famous singer. You know, it wasn't just a singer, I wanted to be a famous one as well. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just always been there. And I suppose choirs then and, and talent competitions as a teenager and, and then, you know, getting in with various bands along the way and, it's just kind of progressed. And, That's and it. it was destined to happen, as I say. It's something like that. But it, it, I suppose this side of it, that, you know, the fact that only now I'm kind of doing the whole recording stuff, um, I've always kind of recorded and, and written songs, but I've never really, I've never really ventured out too far. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a comfort zone person. So um, when Howard D came along and, you know, took me under his wing, so to speak, um, everything just started kind of moving quite quickly really relatively speaking because it really is only in the last sort of six to eight months that this has kind of taken off um, and it's it's just so good having someone behind you kind of moving you forward all the time because I can be quite lazy <laughs> um, so I, I think it's the fact that you know, have you have somebody that, that believes in you number one um, and number two just you know knows people and has the influence to kind of go and say well look we can do this and we can do that um, and take it from there that's it, yeah. We all need that little bit of extra push sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. And, and he's such a great guy. He and really is. He, and he has my back. He's just, he's a great guy to have. Yes, indeed. A, a real gentleman. Indeed. Uh, yeah. As well as I said, I can vouch for that. He's been a good friend there with... So Facebook is how we got connected, I suppose. How we Facebook's meet. a great thing. <laughs> it is a handy tool. It makes the world a smaller place. It does, it does. No, you're in good hands with Howard... That's for sure. And yep. he's good. He has the experience. He's kind of seen it himself. He's travelled. So he knows his... Yeah, he he's knows done his it stuff. all. And he's lots, lots of connections, you know, and, and he knows a lot of people in the business. He does indeed. Um, with yourself, I suppose, America, you've been to Nashville. You've recorded, have you, in... I haven't yet. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on going next year, but it ha um, it's definitely definitely on the bucket list. <laughs> but no, I haven't been. It's, it's yeah. definitely there. I want to do it, yeah. Yeah, I can see it happening, definitely. Yeah, um, fingers crossed. <laughs> now, I often think there when I'm playing your music, you know, I can really picture it on on a cruise ship for some reason. Wow, okay. You know so I, 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 I'm quite happy to be on a cruise ship. <laughs> it's kind of good, that, I suppose, um, classiness about it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Sophistication. Thank you very much. That's, That's very kind of you. You're very welcome. Um, no, I follow you there on Facebook, as you know, and on Reverb Nation, on the charts, you're having good success with that. And Yeah, it's going really... I'm quite surprised at that. It's, it's, it's quite a strange one. I'm not quite sure how it works. I'm, you know, I know I have lots of fans and stuff and subscribers on it, but I'm not quite sure how the, the chart process of it works. But yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm up there as far as um, Meads and, and the country. I think I was number one in, in the whole of Ireland at one stage there. You were? So that's pretty cool. That's yeah. right. I was nearly touching you. I came close. I came to number three and you were... Oh, Willie, we'll stop places this week. <laughs> no, I was 
it was a dream come true for me. It's my my little golden moment, as they say. Oh, uh, so sweet. Yeah, I suppose there there are so many charts online now. It's hard to know how they're all actually operated. And yeah, I'm not quite sure of the the, the compilation of it at all myself. But, that's but it. once we can see our names up there, it's all good. That's it. It's anything like that is a, a boost, and it's, if you get it shared around, it helps, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah, indeed. Um, have you anything new happening in the writing? Are you busy at that, or is this? Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm writing at the minute, and, and there's a few co-writes um, happening soon, and which I'm looking forward to. And um, and I've had lots of amazing songs uh, pitched to me, which is it's lots of fun sifting through them and seeing what what could be the next single. So it's it's it is exciting, you know. We have some beautiful songs um, coming into us, and. and it's it's so hard to decide what to do because there's so many nice things. And you, they're like little babies. You don't want to leave one out. <laughs> so right. um, so it's great. We're very lucky. Really, really lucky. And I suppose, if I get familiar with you, they're writing, kind of tailoring it towards, they know what you're like. So it Yeah, and I mean, even as it is, you know, you, p- people are kind of sending me stuff going, I think this will suit you. So they're obviously kind of honing in on, on, on what my sound is and, and whether they think certain songs you know um, will, will suit and it, it's just lovely that people think that much about it you know and and, and, and would like you to record their songs because as a songwriter myself I'm quite precious about my music and I'm not particularly sure how I'd feel about other people singing my, my music so it, it's yeah. very selfless of songwriters to give you and pitch you a song I think that's true it is a very personal thing isn't it yeah absolutely yeah, it's like, um, yeah, I dabble in the songwriting. I'm not by no means good at it, but I do enjoy it. And, yeah, it's a strange... It's quite therapeutic as well, you know. It is, but isn't it a strange feeling to hear others coming back with your song? That, you Absolutely. Know? I mean, there was um, a girl, Laura Lenehan, um, in Sligo, I think she's based. Um, she was on The Voice of Ireland, and, and she um, recorded and sang uh, one of a song that I had written... Um, and they were doing it for a charity and it was amazing to hear somebody and I was very honoured that she sang it it was beautiful and she has a gorgeous voice but it was just quite strange to hear someone else sing my song yeah it's it's overwhelming you know? to kind of say right so, and it's so intimate to you at the time when you created it yeah like I mean and this, this particular song was written about my father-in-law when he passed away so it was a very personal song um, but it, you know, she had a beautiful rendition of it, and, and um, but it's amazing. You you don't you know you don't realize how precious they are to you until you have to give the song away. And of course, every time you put a song out in public, anyway, you're giving it away. But it's um, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, songwriting is a very personal thing. It is. It is. But it's something I suppose over time you get to know your own methods and how you do it and stuff. You know. Yeah. So exactly. It, you get to we'll have to do a call right soon, will you? <laughs> we will have to sit down with with me pencil. There you go. <laughs> I won't. I won't chance a boy roll because just I'll, in case. I want do, to rub it out. <laughs> I do an awful lot of rubbing out. You see. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. No, I have sat down. Um, call right. I don't know. I've tried it a few times. I've sat down with Vic Hallride over there in England, and yeah, it's kind of it's funny. You can kind of make a connection with someone. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It kind of has to be natural. Some, yeah, some I think people. you can't force, you know, a co-write with somebody just because maybe they're a name or something. I think yeah. it's something that you have to feel is right for both of you or however many you're writing with, you know. That's it, yeah. You might be natural with one and the next might have a different approach, you know. It's yeah, exactly. A different and I think every writer writes differently as well, you know. I suppose, yeah, you have your vision while you're doing it of what you think. and Yeah. Do you know I write the words here and I take it to my friend here in the studio, Brian O'Reilly, who mm-hmm. is from Lotus Whisper, you might remember back in the day. Yeah. And he kind of works his magic and he'd give me a phone call in a day or two, come in and what you think, you know. <laughs> so he does, he does all my guitar work and stuff, so fair play to him. Excellent. Um, it's nice to have someone like that to, to back you up on your music. It is, it is, because I'm always only a phone call away from... You know, you might have looking for a little bit of advice or guidance in some direction, you know. And yeah. it's nice to have these people who will give you the time as well and help Absolutely. out, you know. Um I'm going to play one of your songs, Cathy, is that okay? Yeah, 
of course it's and okay. We, we, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll finish the chat after that then. Is that okay with you? Great. Thank you very much. No bother. Um, the one I have picked out is I'm just not that lonely anymore. Great. So do you want to give it a bit of an intro as to the background of it or... Yeah, well, this is this is my new single, and um, and it's a really, a really nice song uh, written by two amazing songwriters, Wood Newton and Tor Anderson, and Willie is very kindly going to air it for me. Thank you. Very good. Here we go with Caddy Crinian, and I'm just not that lonely anymore. <laughs> Doesn't really matter now I hope that you can make it short I'm already running late You're calling from the road you say You're asking me if it's okay To come around and say hello Again for old time's sake Now please don't get me wrong I know But I'm not gonna open up that door Now I don't want you feeling bad And I'm grateful for the times we had But I'm just not that lonely anymore We said our goodbyes We agreed to move on with our lives How can I get over you If you keep coming back into my life the way you do I like it here in this little town I met someone, we're going out One thing I could have never done before I know you want to stay in touch but I wish that you could give it up cause I'm just not that lonely anymore But I'm just not that lonely anymore I know you want to stay in touch I wish that you could give it up Cause I'm just not that lonely Just not that lonely anymore. I said that would bring a tear to your eye, Catty. Oh, thank you. That is <laughs> I hope your listeners like it. Ah, uh, it's fantastic. And we were just it's, chatting um, there. It's available on iTunes. I better tell everybody that first. That's it. Get yourself over to iTunes at the end of the show, of course. At the end of the show, yeah. <laughs> iTunes and all other online retailers. <laughs> That's the job. That's where you can find it. Um, we were just chatting there between. Well, that was playing about the video that we're just saying it the video adds impact to the story and was well pieced together. Thank you very much. I'm very proud of the video my my eldest son jake um 
directed it and, and filmed it and uh, he did a great job. I think he's got a great eye for it and uh, he's studying film at the minute in, in Dublin Business School so he's he's heading in the right direction so but it was yeah I love the video it was it was more of a mini movie than a than a music video. Yeah it's really well pieced together and well done on it as I say it's a bright future ahead of him if the eye yeah. is that he's good. <laughs> yeah, then he can buy me a nice big house and a nice big car. <laughs> That's it. He can return all the favors. Get him, get him to Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You'll you'll be jet setting around the world. Um, That'd be nice. <laughs> let me see. I don't want to be leaving anything out, as they say. Um, the I'll leave the stage to yourself there. If you want to tell them about where they can get in touch with your music, where they can find it for Absolutely. downloads. Absolutely. Um, you'll find me. My website is kathyquinion.com and the single is available there as well if you don't want to go through iTunes. Um, and pretty much everything you need to know about me is on there. Um, I'm also on Reverb Nation, as you mentioned earlier. And on Facebook, you just type in Kathy Quinion and you'll find me. Um, and there are other songs on, on YouTube if you want to look me up. And um, and don't forget about the um, the eighth of December, the big gig um, that I keep plugging. But it's going to be a great night, and there's so many amazing people going to be on that stage that night. Um, and and I can't wait to can't wait to get up there and, and sing with them. So it's going to be a great night. Very good. Yep, you've got a, a fantastic lineup. I see the poster there. I'll, I'll share the poster as well when we come off air. Thank and you very much. A few of the lads I have met. A few I haven't. I know Matt Levy. And That's a great guy. A gentleman great indeed. And Ray Morta as well, another gentleman. Yeah, indeed. So you're in for a great night. And great night. As I fellow said, we wish you all the best in your oh, thank future. Thank you so much. Stay in touch with us. Call, call back will, of course. and talk to us well, thanks again. Thanks for having me on your show, Willie. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. We're delighted that you took the call and you're welcome any time to Tip Cork Music. Thank you. Can't wait to come down there to join you in person. <laughs> That'll have to be in a future days, definitely. Oh, yeah. If you're ever passing down Corkway, give us a ring. Will do. That's Will the do. job. We'd love to have a live session. Yes. That'd be great. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, so I'm going to play out the end of our little chat, Cathy, with a song called Wasted. Yeah, there's another one I wrote. Yeah. This is all about sitting up at a bar drinking a beer. <laughs> ah, very good. <laughs> yes, it wasted. It tells its own story. It does indeed. <laughs> Thank you very much, Billy, for having me. You're very welcome, and bye for a while, Cathy. Thanks a million. All right, God bless. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All of the things you said to me How could I have been so blind But something inside me
Yeah, take some 